Hey guys, it's Pixel Plume, and oh my goodness, this has been a project. This has been a project that has been waiting a long time to be done. And I'm just gonna say, hello. <laughs> I already said that, but um, welcome to Touch the Thing 2 and a half. And a half. That's, the half is very important. But I played Touch Detective a while ago. It's been a long time, and a lot of people like that project. I was very surprised. Like, I guess one of like those cult games, but I'm back here, back in here, here again. And uh, I'm going to uh, enchant you with beautiful storytelling of the silliest characters in the world. And, um, you know, let's just, let's just have a good time. Let's just see what's going to happen. It's been a while. Maybe two years. Maybe more, but Mackenzie pretty much looks the same. So does her fungi little friend over there. Fungi, fun guy, you know, whatever. And I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but we're just gonna go with what I know. Um, you know, I'm a detective. That's Mackenzie right over there. So if you guys are the first time watching this, you have two different screens. One is her thoughts, which you can see on the left and on the right, what, what's actually what's happening? The bottom screen, but she's a detective. Aww. Aww, isn't he cute? And this is Fungi. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you some questions. Um, did you play the first detective game? I wonder which is this. I did. It's on YouTube, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that project. I never did the bonus content. I do apologize, but uh, it it, it really. I'm terrible at bonus content, I, I realized. But uh, Mackenzie's excited that I play the first game at least, and hopefully you guys are excited that I'm playing the second game. Definitely gonna be a lot more fun. Wanna know control- Girl, if- <laughs> You- You know what- I already played the game before. Uh, mouse, please don't die on me. I am playing this on the computer. Uh, the player said no. Yes. Do you think that the survey had any meaning? Um... No, uh, I, I don't. <laughs> no meaning, huh? Why do you think that was meaningless? Um, it'd be a lot of- <laughs> it's just a joke. It'd be a lot of extra code. Can I change my answer? Nothing life has meaning. It'd be a lot of extra code, you know. It, it, they are terrible, but y you understand that this fourth wall, we need to appreciate, at least. You know, someone, oh. someone programmed that. Ah, oh, take a bow. The Japanese way of introducing everything. Does this look a little bit familiar? If you've seen the first game. But if that's your first time seeing it, then it's all new. The Detective Course Z. What are we going to call this episode? I don't know. I love naming these episodes just because they're all episodic. That's kind of what I feel the vibe of this game is. It's kind of like a mystery drama kind of, you know, like those intrigue shows. You know? The door's locked. What's going on? I like that. That's why it's like one name with the sapia tones. I use rainbow tones, but like maybe sapia. I don't know. We'll see. The door is locked. Good morning, my lady. Cromwell? Who's Cromwell? I know who Cromwell is, but do you guys know who Cromwell is? Where are you? I'm right here. I'm this potato thing. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Huh? What happened to you? Wait a minute. Why, thank you for asking, you see. The Demon King, Lecromosa, cast a spell on me and turned me into a doll. Whoa. You know, you don't believe me? Because it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing as last time. So I, I guess this is a tutorial if you haven't played it. They asked me for the tutorial, yet they're giving me a tutorial. I see how it is, okay. No. Very well. Then let's discuss the matter at hand, shall we? Ahem. <laughs> oh, look at how cute Fungi is over there, just by his little shower. It's gonna get all messy. You are now a chartered member of the Great Detective Society. However, it looks like we're stepping up in the world. In the game, in the first game, we were trying to become part of the society. We are now dubbed the Touch Detective. The magnitude of your cases has not changed. Oh, that's okay. You know, with all those helping our friends. Nothing wrong with helping our friends, but all roads lead to Rome. Now let's review the matters, the methods rather, of investigation, lady. Honestly, I, I, it's been a while since I played, so I don't honestly mind a review. It could help, but uh, it's not anything, anything else to do. Let's, let's do it. Oh, I knew you wouldn't let me down, lady. Now then, I call this Detective Course. See, 
What does the Z stand for? I'm curious. I wanna know. Your objective is quite simple. You know, Mackenzie, let's just exit your room! That is all. You knew this was coming. You knew you gotta get out! The window the window's right there. Quite simple, is it not? Why is it called Detective Course Z? The objective is the same as la the Z makes it feminine. Remember that, folks. The Z makes it feminine. Alright. If you should happen to come to a dead end, please do not hesitate to speak with me. He's the little potato dude. It's orange. Abby, please provide you some hints. I don't know. I don't think I need hints from a potato man. Let's get going. So the main objective, everything in this game is controlled exclusively with touch controls, hence the name of Dutch Detective. And you can go through and click all these things and you can just add them to your inventory like that. The music is pretty much the same as the other game, so you have an autonomizer. What is this? Where's the squishy thing? There's no squishy thing. It's like a perfume bottle. Isn't it pretty? Alright, so everything is controlled exclusively by a touch control, or in this case, the cursor. This antique chair. I don't even remember where the thing was last time, so. He, he does say a little thing, a quip, about if you look in the first place it was before. But, um, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember where it is, so. This is all refreshing. A high-tech electric lock? It's locked? Oh, wake up, I need your help. Oh, he's sleeping. He's fast asleep. Look, let, me, let me shake him. We also have a touch, a touch log. It's probably scary, but uh, if we touch certain things on the floor, we can add them to our touch log. That's too bad. But for your information, I did not hide the item in the same place before. Oh, so it wasn't the carpet before. Okay. That's what we mean by Z. Z means different, but it also means feminine. Okay. I will reiterate that point. I guess we have nothing to add to our touch log yet. Great for pressing flowers. I love like, the little dialogue she has. All the time, but uh, this bear's a little scary looking. He would make a good weapon. You know, I, I can't disagree with that. I'm, I'm even real. <laughs> a cactus. What's this? A radio. Let's see. An alarm clock. Can we go out the window? <laughs> Let's get out. And just what do you plan on doing, my lady? Um, jump out the window. Oh, how interesting. That is a fantastic idea. You know, uh, is something wrong? On second thought, what? You're not going to jump out the window? But then my carefully placed trap would be wasted. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? I want to know the trap. Oh, yeah. Can we jump out anyways? I want to see. So let's check the drawers. Let's see what we got. What's this? A dropper. All right. So let's take this. So this is what we need. So the octopus bulb. We click on this and we stick it onto this, and now we got the autonomizer. It's perfect, and it can squeeze things. It feels nice and cool. Mackenzie's wide awake, eh? What else in this room is sleeping, do you know? You're still sleeping. Good morning. Are you still sleeping? No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I know you're asleep. Let me spray you with this. Wake up. Aww. He's so cute. Come along with me. You shall help me. I have to feed him. What am I gonna feed him? Is there, does it look like a carrot? What is that? Okay. Yeah, it looks like a carrot. Eat it up and get us out of the room. Do you want a different one? Look, if you don't want to eat that, then what do you want to eat? Let me see. What if, if there's anything in these other drawers? Let's see. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Alright, so. How about this one? I just want to know. What'd you find? May I ask what you're doing? Um, did you see me? Did you, what? Nothing to worry, m'lady. I did not see anything. <laughs> okay, well... Um... You wanna eat something. I don't know what you wanna eat. You just gotta click around this room and... There's only so many things which we can click on, honestly. Aw, you made the hole. Let's see. Anything else in here? There has to be something. Something for you to eat. Oh! In the bed! What is this? It's a pea! It's hard. DNA recombinate? What? Are you trying to be the first in the pea? Here, eat this. I don't think I actually noticed the carrot. Open up! Enjoy! Oh no. Are you alright? 
What? Oh. Okay. Okay. We did it. We got out. So, you know, you got out that way, but we got out. That's the important part. I am very proud of you, m'lady. Tee-hee. <laughs> An extraordinary oh. feat of our oh, Houdini. Oh. I am impressed indeed. We just burned down our door. You will never need to investigate another case. Your future has certainly brightened, my lady. Now there's something very important to discuss. What? I, I guess her future's kind of dark, but okay. You know, Mackenzie's cool with it. You know, looking at Course Z, it kind of looks like Louise Z for some reason to me. Uh, just a random thought, but uh, what's that? Do you remember your touch list? Yes. It was my personal research project. Well, a gentleman's interested in publishing it. <gasps> it's our one accolade that we'll ever forever hold dearly. I don't think I actually finished in the first game, but they're just going to assume that we finished the whole thing this time around, so that's all good and dandy. Oh. Have I lied to you before, my lady? Uh, multiple times, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Oh. <laughs> yes, in any case. Before he can publish it, he has asked to make some minor revisions. Now please, see to it. But what should I revise? Hmm, let's see. You can be good with the items number one through fifth. <laughs> but that's all of them! You know, it's fine, it's just all of them. Yes, from a certain, from a certain angle, it appears to be all of them. However, small price to buy. It's a small price to play. pay Ugh. Ugh. for us to receive royalties for the rest of our lives and get out of this town forever. Now then, please work on revising your completed touch list. It's not really complete anymore, but we'll do it. But that's it for today. That's the tutorial. You know, you can save in all these different slots. And I do like the save thing. It shows you all your complete. We complete the tutorial level. That's what the potato's for. We did it. But um, next time in Touch Detective, we're going to delve right into this game. And let's see what this game has to offer. I'm super pumped, super excited. This tutorial level, very nice and refreshing. I'm a little nervous with the first chapter. But episode one is over. See you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody.